Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, today's topic is one that reveals the stark reality of the choices we make in life and the consequences that follow. It's a story of regret, isolation, and the burden of one's decisions. But before we move on to any further details, I would love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you guys waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press the bell icon. Perfect, so let's get started. So as we witness the royal family coming together to commemorate the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's passing, one member stood apart both physically and emotionally. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, found himself in a lonely moment as he made a somber visit to Windsor Castle to pay his respects to his late grandmother. This solitary pilgrimage to the King George IV Memorial Chapel with St. George's Chapel in Windsor was a stark contrast to the scenes unfolding elsewhere. Prince Charles and Princess Kate arrived at St. David's Cathedral in Wales to mark the anniversary, while King Charles and Queen Camilla visited Carathy Parish Church near Balmoral for a service. The most notable absence, however, was that of Meghan Markle and their two children, Archie and Lilibet, who chose to remain in California. This decision left Prince Harry alone in his moment of reflection and remembrance. Body language expert Judy James analyzed Harry's demeanor during his visit to Windsor, describing him as appearing almost furtive. The image of Harry leaving the chapel dressed in a white shirt painted a picture of isolation and loneliness. Miss James noted that his solitary appearance emphasized that poignant fact that Harry was unable to share his grief and respects with the rest of his own family. This solitary act may have weighed heavily on Harry's mind as he reflected on his choices. It's worth noting that he only had arrived in the UK on Thursday, just in time for his appearance at the Wellchild Awards on the eve of the first anniversary. In his speech at the awards, Harry mentioned his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, and one can't help but wonder if he carried with him a sense of regret. Did he look back on his decisions and think, I should have never listened to greedy Megan's lies? The choices we make in life often have consequences that we must live with. In this moment of solitude and reflection, Prince Harry may have to come face to face with the weight of his decisions and the path that he's chosen. But what are your thoughts on this matter? Do you believe Harry's isolation was a result of his own choices, or do you empathize with his situation? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.